So these are the new double-sided offset horns. Um, one thing we want to go over is fitment. Obviously when using them as a step up, they'll fit on pretty much anything. But when using them as a step down, you have to determine whether it fits on your servo or not. Um, our V2s, all servos are different in the height and the top of the spline, top of the case, how they're set up. You can see the 700s are different than the V2s. They have different sitting heights. Same thing with the RS1 is very similar to the RS700 and many other servos out there. So you have to determine the height in which they'll fit. When using as a step down, they will fit our V2. Just clears it. When using as an R on an RS1 or an RS700, it will not clear the uh, the base top of the spline. So when it turns, it's going to run into the case. Really, what these are made for is servos that are either chassis mounted, sitting up in the chassis, forward facing. So when they're on there, they can spin side to side. And then also when you put them on as a step down, but upside, it has all the clearance. It can go all the way around the side of the case. It's when it runs into the front of the case is when you have an issue. So setups facing forwards like this, no issue, full clearance. But dependent on your servo, if you're running a axle mounted servo sitting in the front like this, you know, and you turn, it may run into your case. So you have to make sure that these fit proper for step down use. Otherwise more intended to be used for forward facing servos, whether they're chassis mounted up, hanging upside down, or if you have one of the mounts on the axle that has them facing forwards so that they get the clearance all around the side. The side of the servo is really where they have all the clearance and you won't run into any issue. But when it's on the front face, if your servo spline doesn't sit high enough to the servo case, it's going to run into the case.